A very good morning. Thank you for keeping it here on NBS Television. I am Jackie Mutesi. This is The Breakfast Meeting. Now, we're in the week leading up to the 9th of October, our country's 61 years of independence, and we're celebrating all things Uganda here at Next Media, whether it's travel, tourism, just enjoying our country, our language, our cultures. And this morning, in the spirit of Ugandanism, this morning we're joined by Uganda Airlines, our country's airline, to let us know that on top of the 11 destinations that they currently fly to, they have added another one for reasons that they will be sharing with us, and that destination is Mumbai. So joining me in studio this morning is the Chief Commercial Officer at Uganda Airlines, Mr. Adedayo Olawi. Lovely to have you, Adedayo. Thank you very much, Jackie. Nice to be here. How's things at Uganda Airlines? Um, we're kicking. Things are moving on very smoothly. That's lovely. So, as you were telling me before, why Mumbai as a destination? Yeah, so uh, first of all, uh, India as a country uh, was the choice, uh, primarily because it's a population of 1.3 billion people. Uh, secondly, Mumbai is the economic hub of the country, um, and that's one of the main reasons why we had to pick that destination. Uh, when we look at um, the number, uh, the places that people travel to out of Uganda, actually for our international destinations. Uh, right now, Mumbai is actually the third highest, you know, after Dubai, London, and then Mumbai. Uh, there is increasing trade uh, between, you know, India and Africa in general. Actually, uh, as of 2022, 20, uh, we see that India is now one of the fifth uh, highest investors into the country, uh, into the continent of Africa. Uh, we also see incre increasing uh, um, medical tourism. We see a lot of Africans now going as at the end of 2019 as well. Uh, the data states was about 19.5% of tourists that actually went into India, went there for medical tourism. Uh, definitely, we also see India is with the big population it has. It has a Bajonian uh, middle class who have the propensity for travel. Uh, so we are trying to also market Uganda to them. Uh, as a destination where they can visit to come and enjoy uh, tourism here. So these are just some of the very few reasons why Mumbai was a destination for us to pick, from, apart from the fact that it was a strategic implementation plan for the airline. Absolutely. I like your tagline, um, have dinner in Entebbe and have breakfast, breakfast in Mumbai. How long Mumbai. is the flight to Mumbai from Yeah, uh, the flight will be, you know, total road trip is about six and a half hours. Uh, so it's actually six hours flight, flying time. Oh, that's uh, not bad. Yeah. And presently, people have to fly today going via other orbs, which, you know, means they will have to have connection times and could take you anything from 9 to 15 hours, depending on which airline you're flying no, with. It definitely lengthens the time. Oh, definitely. And I'm time is money, so we are putting money back in the, in the hands of our passengers. Six and a half hours and yes. you'll be in India. Yes. I'm glad you mentioned medical tourism because on top of adding to our economic trade routes, um, medical tourism is something that is massive yes. here in Uganda. And Mumbai is a top destination, like you said. But that's not the only destination that you're opening up as Uganda Airlines, is it? You also have plans for Lagos. Yes, we do. Talk to me about um, our, trade, our route to Lagos. Uh, so, Lagos, uh, Nigeria, a population of over 200 million people. Lagos also is the capital, is the economic capital of, of Nigeria. Uh, Lagos alone boasts about 24.5 million people. Uh, that live in that in that city, um, we've seen definitely a lot of ties between Uganda and Nigeria. But unfortunately, uh, because of the absence of a direct route between the two countries, we've been unable to harness the potential that really exists. Uh, so the choice of Lagos for us is being able to fly to the biggest, uh, the most populous black black nation, uh, especially in Africa. Uh, Considering that as a, as a company, we are also trying to build a network. Uh, it's not just about flying point to point. It's about being able to take people from one destination via Entebbe as our hub and into other destinations. So as we start to grow into other international destinations, Lagos is definitely very key for us uh, to be able to bring people in and be, be able to take them further. Uh, definitely, it would also help you know, stimulate the trade between the two countries uh, in different sectors, oil and gas, uh, um, tourism as well. Uh, there are a lot of Nigerians who are now tired of just going to London to shop. They also want to find other places to go uh, within the continent. Uh, COVID also showed us that uh, there's a lot more intra-Africa travel because people want to see what is actually within Africa itself. So we are also giving that opportunity to Nigerians as well and also to Ugandans uh, for them to be able to go across the borders and see what's happening in Nigeria. 
That's exciting. Adedayo, you're absolutely right. Um, Inter-Africa travel. This is yeah. something that was pretty much unheard of or rare yeah. before COVID times. We yes, thought right. that the world was, was America and, and the UK <laughs> and the rest of the world. Yeah. But it's, it's a beautiful thing to see Africans integrating. I mean, you're here from Nigeria. I'm from here. I'm here from, I'm here, I'm here from Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick to that. But that's not the only um, route. Those would be 13 routes. Yes. If you add Lagos and Mumbai, those are 13 routes yes. added. Do you have any other routes coming up as Uganda Airlines? Oh, yes. Uh, we've had a couple of routes in the pipeline for a while. Um, I think uh, Mumbai and Lagos will be 12 and 13, as you mentioned. Uh, we're looking at Saudi Arabia. Uh, in Saudi Arabia, we're looking at Jeddah and Riyadh. Uh, if you recall, uh, in June, we had the uh, Aj flights, uh, which we operated to Saudi. Uh, so the plan was to continue that with um, scheduled flights, uh, which we intend to announce very soon as well. Uh, we're looking at Guangzhou, uh, China. Uh, that's another ex exciting route. It will be our third international route as well. Uh, we are looking at uh, Lusaka, Zambia. Exactly. We are looking at uh, Arare. Um, we are looking at Cape Town, South Africa, and of course, London. Can we talk about the affordability of these flights? I'm um, speaking regionally, let's say, trying to fly to Harare. Yeah. How, how much would, would that cost the average so Ugandan? So definitely, when we start to fly directly, it will obviously reduce the cost of travel today uh, because that's another destination where there's no direct flight. So you are either going to be flying through one or the other. Uh, so it will become a lot more affordable. Like you've seen, we've been able to demonstrate on the Entebbe Nairobi route since we've come into the market. We've been able to crush the prices and we continue to make it more affordable for people to fly. Uh, the intention is to make more people fly, and that's where you get more people into the country to improve the economy of, the, of Uganda. Of Uganda. Adedayo, yes. more people flying means more pressure on your fleet. Do you have sure. plans to expand your current crew? Um, well, so presently, we, you know, we operate a six fleet uh, company. Uh, we have uh, two Airbus 330s, A330 Neos, and we have a four CR J900. Uh, so uh, as we start to expand, uh, we will be, for example, on Mumbai, we will be deploying the A330-300, uh, which is presently uh, a bit underutilized. Uh, so as we start to fly more, it will just be increasing our utilization, which is obviously helping us with economies of scale and being able to increase our own output as an airline. Uh, but that being said, uh, we've also, we're also in the market looking at uh, ways to uh, increase our fleet so that we can ensure we can maintain a seamless service for our passengers. Uh, so we've been looking at a few narrow body options, uh, narrow body aircraft uh, within the range of between 140, 270, 180, depending on what we go for. Uh, that would help us to be able to bridge the gap between the two aircraft types that we have today. We have the CRGs that are 76 seater, we have the Airbus are 258 seater, so getting something in the mid range uh, would definitely help us to be able to bridge that gap. So a lot of our markets now have, been, have grown and they are now outgrowing the 76 seater, so we will get them onto those mid range aircraft. And also, there are times when you are in low, low seasons and peaks where you can deploy this uh, mid range aircraft to some of your longer destinations like Dubai or even Mumbai. So uh, those are the plans that we have at Uganda Airlines in increasing our fleet. At Adair, majority of Ugandans unfortunately use other airlines. Um, in the spirit of patriotism and in the spirit of independence, what is your call to Ugandans to support our local airline to use Ugandan products to build us? Yes, Bubu, uh, build Uganda, buy Uganda, build Uganda. And we at uh, Uganda Airlines would like to say Fubu, fly Uganda, build Uganda. Uh, the truth is, um, if you have not tasted a service, then you'll never really know what you're missing. We need to get more people flying, more people believing in the national carrier, because we are here to serve the populace. Um, there is nothing you're going to get in any other carrier that we are not giving to you. And as you can see, we continue to expand just to be able to give people more options of destinations where they can visit. We have very exquisite in-flight entertainment. Uh, if you fly on any of our aircraft, uh, in-flight catering is one of the best. Uh, I can say that for myself. We, you know, the food that is served on board, beautiful, and uh, the service that you just enjoy is seamless. Uh, so the truth is we need to get more people believing in the country, believing in the national carrier, and starting to fly. Uh, I, for one, um, have been shocked at you know, the quality of service that I met at Uganda Airlines. And I really like to call on people to, to just give it a try. 
you know, and we've given a lot of opportunities for people to just enjoy that service at different points in time. We've had joy rides uh, for people to just get on board at a very cheap fee, even if you cannot get a visa. Uh, we recently had a fourth anniversary where we even had some crazy fares, uh, tickets as low as hundred and nine, as low as ninety nine dollars you know, to Nairobi and some other destinations, just to encourage people to get to fly. And we will continue to do that because we are here to build Uganda together. Absolutely. Adedayo, you're introducing the Mumbai route. When can Ugandans expect to be able to fly directly from Uganda to Mumbai? And how can they book tickets? Oh, yes. So we're starting flights on the 7th of October. Uh, that's when we'll have a maiden flight from uh, Entebbe to Mumbai. Uh, the flight will be three times a week. Uh, you will be able to buy tickets uh, uh, on, on our website or on our mobile app, which we recently launched. Uh, you can also buy at the closest travel agent to you or any of our airport offices. Uh, but the truth is you can enjoy the power in your palms and just pick up your phone, download the app, and you are able to buy and book and pay uh, for your tickets. Yes. Adedaya, what are your closing remarks this morning? Oh, well, uh, well my, before that, Lagos will be coming Please. up on the 19th of October as well. Uh, we also, we'll be doing that, you know, three times a week as well. And people, um, people can start to buy their tickets. We've been selling tickets online. Um, we're, we're glad, you know, for the opportunity that the country has given us to be able to serve, you know, uh, at Uganda Airlines. And we will continue fulfilling that mandate of promoting Uganda uh, in the world and taking the crane you know, everywhere and getting people to fly the crane to the Pearl of Africa. And when can we expect the Guangzhou flight? Guangzhou, mm, coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. We should be thanking you for giving us the opportunity to, to show our culture, to showcase what we have, but to also support our own economy. It's so sad that we constantly fly with these different airlines where we don't yes. even have, but now we have a national airline and we have a reason to support. Yeah. So if you're looking to go to Mumbai for whatever reason, be it travel, be it medical reasons, be it economic reasons, trying to, to buy stock, to bring into our country, please take use and use the Uganda Airlines Mumbai route. Starting on the 7th of October is when they're having their maiden flight. I cannot wait to see you again and tell us more about your many more routes coming up, I'm sure. You Thank keep it here in the breakfast meeting. We have plenty more coming up.